Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Davis, Director of the Ohio Department of Developmental Disabilities. I'm here to talk to you about a signed budget. After all these months now, the Governor has signed our two-year state budget and I'm here to tell you how pleased we are with the investment that the administration and the legislature has made in our system. We have $370 million of new monies over the next two years. As far as we can tell, this is a historic two-year investment in our system and I am grateful right, to the governor and his team and to the legislature, all of the legislature, and to all of you for your help and assistance in passing this budget. So what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna put real live money, as we have talked, into homemaker personal care, right? Direct care wages, direct support wages. So we have $253 million of new money put in to raise wages for our direct support professionals over a two-year period. Beginning January 1 of 2020, we will get up to $12.82 in average reimbursement. And beginning January 1 of 2021, we will get to $13.23. This is from a start today of $11.12. It's a remarkable investment. It's taken a lot of effort. We are pleased to be able to say that we believe in our direct support professionals. The need for you know, honest wage reimbursement, the beginning of a path, and we're going to invest everything we have in making that work. So we will work with you soon. We'll talk with you. We'll get those things in place. We are going to build private provider capacity to serve multi-system youth. We're going to put real live money into using our ICF system to do this in a very right, prescribed way, training and all of the pieces to the puzzle, and I couldn't be more pleased. We're going to work with the Department of Medicaid, with you as providers, with families, right, and with county boards to do this in the right way, and uh, it's one of the, truly is one of the things I'm most pleased about. This budget allows us to double our investment in early intervention at the county level. We know this model works. We get at the children with their families early, right? We're doing some remarkable things. It's time we invested heavily you know, in this model because it's having success on a day-to-day -day basis. We're pleased to do that. We'll get that money into you know, our partners' hands as soon as we possibly can. We've got some money now, right? 20 plus million dollars to put in non-medical transportation. We've talked about this for a while. There are some things in the short term that we can do with non-medical transportation. Right, to assist with adaptive vehicles, to put some money right, uh, in short-term trips, those kind of things. We know what we need to do. We know there's a bigger picture around transportation, so we're going to do that, have those conversations with all of you. But we have an ability right, with this budget to do some very important things in the short term with that, so we're appreciative for that. All in all, what can I say but thank you to all of you right, who have helped with this budget and the process and your support. I'm so genuinely appreciative of the legislature, the governors, the governor's team, all of it. So thank you again so very much.